Unbelievable true story behind daring prison break movie Escape from Pretoria, as Daniel Radcliffe plays South African inmate. By Mel Evans. Would you have the guts to chisel away keys out of wood in your prison cell to open the nine steel, guarded doors to your freedom, right under the noses of violent prison wardens? You wouldn't, and we don't blame you. But Tim Jenkin did, and you may be surprised to learn one of the most daring prison escapes was executed right under the noses of Pretoria prison guards back in 1979 and involved nothing but the keys made in Jenkins' own cell. Now Escape from Pretoria tells the story of Jenkin and Stephen Lee, two white South African activists, imprisoned in 1978 for working on behalf of the African National Congress, ANC, and their escape from the notorious, white man's Robben Island, Pretoria prison. Forty years after his mad dash for freedom with his collection of wooden keys and one chisel, which was, unbelievably, successful, Jenkins' story is being told in the feature film with Daniel Radcliffe playing the lead role. Speaking to Metro.co.uk about learning the news Radcliffe would be portraying him, Jenkin, who was sentenced to 12 years in prison, said the A-list casting came as a surprise. We has Skype chats, he wanted to learn about the character and the accent, Jenkin, now 71, explained of the study Radcliffe did to ace his portrayal. Then I went to Australia to the set and we would often sit together and he'd ask me about particular scenes, what was going through my head while this was happening. We worked quite closely and he wanted to know what to emphasize. He was very keen to portray the mood and, well, me, I guess, as accurately as he could. But when it comes to watching him break out of prison all over again, though, there is no stirring feeling, no rush of emotions that come back to Jenkin. As he says, For me it's just like going to the movies. He adds, I have probably different emotions as people, so it is a very strange sort of thing. Jenkin continues, It is very exciting, to watch, but I knew the outcome. I wasn't wondering, oh will they make it? Despite the feature film makeover, there is no embellishment of Jenkin's recollection in the script, based on his 2003 book Inside Out, Escape from Pretoria Prison. In fact, things have been kept so by the book, so to speak, the actors used the actual tool Jenkin and Lee, as well as third prisoner Alex Momberis, employed in their daring escape. That last scene is about as accurate as you can make it, Jenkin says of the very real moment the escapees weren't able to open the ninth and final door to freedom. Believe it or not, the chisel they used in the film, to beat down the door, was the actual chisel we used on the front door. He continued, it was, the only thing we managed to keep. We got rid of the all the keys immediately, but for some reason we kept that, probably as a weapon. I still have it in my toolbox and still use it as a normal tool. I loaned it to them for the film. No longer having any of the original keys, not even as a keepsake of another life, Jenkins says. I have replicas that look like them, but not the real ones. People said, how can you make keys out of wood? They wouldn't be strong enough. But when we broke them up it was quite a mission we had to use the chisel. How does one, who is an activist, not a locksmith, even begin to fashion keys with no knowledge of the mechanisms? A lot of people can't understand how we got the shape of the key, but if you break it down, most of the dimensions you get from the lock itself, you measure the hole. Jenkin explains like it's nothing. They were very big locks so you could see the marks on the inside. When you're making it the lock is right there, you keep filing it until it fits in the holes. You hardly have to measure. He continued. The actual shape, we got by looking at their, guards, keys, as we had the overall height already. It was just a question of guessing how deep the cuts were and our guess was correct and the very first key was correct. I made that within a week or two of being there, it wasn't that difficult. The way Jenkins speaks about the escape is with a sort of whimsy, despite the danger they'd be in if they were caught. Suppose with 40 years between you and the act, there's been time to reflect. Surely his amazing story has had the big Hollywood sparkle, though. The old razzle-dazzle where his journey looks nothing like how it has been portrayed on screen. Quite the opposite. In a way the real story is even more exciting. It's just too long to fit into the 100 minutes. So they've taken license to summaries a whole lot of events into one. So I wouldn't say it's embellished at all. It's quite accurate, he explains. Especially the ending of the film. We had to break the final door, we were hoping to pull off the ultimate escape without leaving a trace.
I wanted to go back and do it again, as we hadn't opened that door before. He says. We escaped it a number of times in fact, each time going a bit further, the actual, final, escape was the easy part. We'll take your word for it. Escape from Pretoria is in cinemas Friday. Got a showbiz story? If you've got a celebrity story, video or pictures get in touch with the metro.co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at metro.co.uk. Calling 020-3615-2145 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page. We'd love to hear from you.